Hi there, and welcome back to What Yacht To Do. Today we're going to take you from the Dowry Creek Marina in Bellhaven, North Carolina, all the way up to the Alligator River Marina in Columbia, North Carolina. It's a distance of about 49 miles. Whoa, okay, yeah. let's go. We're leaving Dowry Creek Marina where we had a fantastic two night stay there. They have free laundry, but they also have a pool. Mm -hmm. They have a store with fresh seafood. Oh, did you see that? The marina owner just waved to yeah, us. Yeah, he is uh, fueling up salty with lime. <laughs> right, there's a couple other looper boats there um, on the right hand side of the screen that were staying there. So, um, yeah, it was great. We took a swim in the pool. Yes. One night. Very relaxing. We did get rained on pretty good there one night as well. <laughs> so we highly recommend you staying at Dowry Creek Marina in Bellhaven, mm -hmm. North Carolina. Have you seen any alligators yet? Nope. Are there alligators in here? I don't know. Whoa, I don't like that. <sighs> well, obviously somebody in a big hurry to get somewhere <laughs> and I, I suppose they could have given us a slower pass and I suppose I could have turned a little bit more to port to uh, minimize the roll there. Yeah, you but, could have. Yeah, I could have. Hindsight. Anyway, it wasn't that bad. Well, this is called the Alligator River and I'm real disappointed in it because <laughs> I have yet to see an alligator. Did you see any? No, I think Not that's you? the point. They don't like to be seen. They just kind of oh. like to sneak up on you. Oh, I don't like that. Take a bite out of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like we're getting in the water. Did but did you see the color of it? Yeah, that was really yeah, that was interest. I I don't know. It looked just like coffee, and I love mm -hmm. coffee. And I don't remember if this is the Wilson Creek Bridge or the Fairfield uh, Bridge. The, what? the Fairfield Bridge. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, maybe somebody knows. I yeah. think it was actually the very first one. But you can tell us in the comments below. But it is a beautiful, beautiful day. We left early about 8 o'clock. No, before 8 o'clock to get an early start on the day. And we went through this narrow channel of the Alligator River and got to all, uh, I think there were a couple of bridges. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure if this is the Alligator River, but oh, it really? is, yeah, Are you it's kidding the channel me? leading up to the Alligator thought... River. Maybe that's why we're not seeing. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well. So. Maybe we're going that's to the why Alligator River Marina, <laughs> and we have got to cross the Alligator River to get there. So this is kind of like a cut um, that goes through there. Well, I think I've been given some misinformation. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have seen other loopers post on Facebook and various places that uh, pictures of alligators along the Great Loop. So I was always you know, kept my eye out, especially in Florida and uh, down south. And, you know, since we're kind of south here, well, here you go. Yeah. Finally out of that narrow channel yeah. into we're... the, now we're in the Alligator River? Yeah, we're getting what? ready to uh, make the crossing of the Alligator River. Oh, come on. Yeah. Well, it is a beautiful day. And um, I, I, Sam doesn't like the color of the water, but I do. I'm going to show you a shot here in the back. We stir it all up. How fast are you going to have a wake like mm -hmm. that? I think we're about 18, 19 miles an hour as we're going through Ooh, here. Yeah. Kind of a coffee color, isn't it? That's what I just said. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So beautiful coffee colored water here in North Carolina as we're cruising along at a high road of speed. This is my kind of cruising. We are underway. Today is one of those days you like to have a slow boat that can go fast. In other words, 
This boat can go slow and probably 85% of the time on the loop we go slow. But crossing these big bodies of water is, there's really not much to see. And today there's significant wind. So we are just spending the fuel to get there and get out of this uh, area. We are going from Dowry Creek Marina in Bell Haven, North Carolina, up to Alligator River Marina in Columbia, North Carolina. We're getting, uh, that's a, a distance of about 50 miles from about, uh, well, mile marker about 132 to up to 84. So whatever that works out to be, I guess it's close to probably about 48 miles. We are on the intracoastal waterway and there is a channel that goes through here. It's running about 11 feet deep on an average. We did hit one area where my alarm came on. I have it set for nine feet below the water line at this point, uh, nine feet from the sensors. So we're doing okay, but I kind of like to get these long stretches out of the way. When we do get in closer into what is called a channel where we'll have some trees along each side. We'll slow her down and take in the scenery. So as you're choosing a boat for the Great Loop, you know, if you want a trawler, then you're going to be in the seven to eight miles an hour range, and they're very efficient, very comfortable boats. Not poo-pooing any trawler guys out there. I've been on trawlers. I just love them. But we do like to go fast when we want to, and if that's something you like to do, you can kind of consider. Most of the time you'll be at trawler speeds on the Great Loop, but when you do want to get someplace and not waste a lot of time out there, uh, it's great to have a boat that can get up on plane when you need it. So we'll talk to you a little bit later as we, oh, and there's a little bit of spray coming up there. Uh, Little, it is a little choppy out here. I wouldn't call it chop, just kind of wind blowing across there. We do have a bridge that we have to go through, the Alligator River Swing Bridge. And as soon as we get through that bridge, we're going to make a turn to the port, and uh, we'll be going into the Alligator River Marina. Uh, distance right now about 15 miles. Uh, we're not going to keep up this speed for probably another 15 minutes or so once we get into the channel. So we will talk to you a little bit later. So they, they close it because look, oh. look at how long that thing is. You think yeah. that yeah, the big winds would really screw that thing up, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, the, it seems pretty windy right now. Yeah. I remember that story, but it was hard to imagine what he was talking about. Yeah. So this bridge, you can see how long that bridge is, and when it swings open, there's a great moment arm on it. So that's why it's advertised that if the winds are greater than 35 miles per hour, they will not open the bridge. But you because you could see, even with this little bit of wind here, how that might affect the bridge. We have a friend on Harkin who uh, is in progress on the loop, and last year they got caught and had to anchor and wait for the winds to go down, and I guess they were out there for, what, an entire day or so. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, ca I can't imagine having to anchor in, mm -hmm. the, uh, what, over 35 miles oh, an over hour. Over 35 of miles wind. an hour wind, and yeah, uh -huh. they were they were caught there until the winds died down, and they could finally open it. But you can see, if they did open this bridge in those great winds, uh, how it might damage it because it's just a big bridge. Yeah, really big. Um, do they open on the hour or what? No, the... this is on request. On so we request. had called him way out. He saw okay. us. He said he would time it to get us uh, through as we came through. Now, as we go through here, we're going to make a turn to the port and we'll get into the Alligator River Marina. He was a really nice um, 
bridge operator i remember very yeah, friendly real friendly working working it for us mm -hmm. and uh yeah so we're going to turn immediately to the left after we get here through the bridge and get to alligator river marina yeah. have we seen an alligator yet no we have not <laughs> and that's a good thing <laughs> <laughs> i want to see one yeah, yeah, yeah. well the longer we were there that evening the water and the wind calmed down so it's i was looking for gators in there don't you think they should be hiding in there yeah. it looks like a primo place it's a, it's a neat little marina to rest they do have a shop yeah. there that has a sandwich shop in it we did get some sandwiches it's a, a very nice restaurant mm -hmm. well i mean it has a convenience store at the the front and a restaurant in the back but a nice little grill beautiful sunset for our stay here and there were two other boats crab boats coming in and out all day long they had that operation going on here yeah so we'll be off to coin jock tomorrow Woohoo! hey thanks for coming along on this trip from Bellhaven, north carolina up to the alligator river marina in columbia north carolina and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified every time we put out a new video all right. And like the video. Yeah, like the video. Give us a <laughs> thumbs up. All right. See ya.